Okay. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bryce breaks a critical safety rule by taking off before he's been given the green flag. 10,000 pounds and 1,450 horsepower rocket straight at Tom, the safety marshal. He didn't even send it over to the flag guy and he took off. That was bad. And Dennis is not happy. What the hell was that, dude? What was that? Why did you do that? You know how close he was to the freaking tire? You know, I ought to throw your ass out of the truck right now and be done with it because that looked bad. Tom's right there. He's like, Whoo. yeah, I know. Bro, you know that was freaking hour wrecking. Like Whenever that hand is up, when they throw the thumbs up up, you got to give it back to him. Okay. He's going to tell you to watch the other guy that's going to flag you down. You got you understand now? Yeah, you I mean, you've got you got to signal him back, let him know, okay. Right. Okay. And then he's going to step back and you're flagged off, okay? Okay. I was in the truck, I had pulled up to the line, and I got my hand signals confused. I was thinking thumbs up means, okay, I can go now. Yo, I take off, and I'm like, that one went pretty well. Then all of a sudden, the machine is shut down. I'm like, what the hell happened? I'm like, this is confusing. I made a mistake, and I think I just have to take my time now. At the end of day one, Rick, Lie, and Ben prove they can accelerate and brake efficiently. While Bryce, Chris, and Eric violated crucial safety rules. Next, the rookies prep the trucks and change the tires. First, they must jack up the truck, mount the tires, and then tighten up the lug nuts. These 66-inch tires must be able to withstand a rough landing from a 25-foot jump. And just remember, you guys, don't get in a hurry, mess our equipment up, or knock the truck off the jack. Let's rock, baby. Yeah, boy. One team will take care of Blue Thunder, yeah. while the other team will work on the boss's baby, Grave Digger. Team Blue Thunder, comprised of Ben, Sandy, Bryce, Ramel, and Michaela, quickly get to work. Changing a tire on a Monster Jam truck is outrageously and ridiculously tough because uh, those tires weigh 720 pounds. And they don't just roll up. You got to raise the truck up and down, and you got to just freaking crawl that tire on there. It's it's hard ass work. That's the first tire I've ever changed in my life. Sad but true. I'm tough, but cars are not my thing. I was picked to be on Team Grave Digger, working with Chris, Eric, Lie, and Steven. And I'll tell you, you know, I've never worked with Eric before, and I've never worked with Lie, and I'm pretty concerned. You know, I've seen and heard some of their past performances in the past jobs, and you know, Lie just la 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 la. Wait, stop! Wait, wait, that way, that way, that way, that way. And Eric, hold on. Hello. Don't Hello. catch your knee under that tire like that, dude. That thing will break your leg. I'm not kidding you. He's a loose cannon, and I think he's going to be a safety hazard, man. I'm working around a big truck. I don't want anything falling on me. So I liked our team because I had Rick on my side and I felt like, you know, maybe I should take somebody else's lead on this stuff because I've changed tires before, but I mean, come on, the tire's bigger than my car, seriously. All right, All right, I got this, brother. You go grab on the right. hydraulics. If there's a situation that's coming around that needs some sort of direction and there's no leadership, I tend to try to fall into that. Well, I don't even try, it just happens. I'll be honest with you, I have a hard time not being in charge of certain things. All right, Eric, lower us down, bro. A little bit more, more, more. Okay, oh, too much. Uh, so we have Eric running the jack, you know, and we're trying to get this tire in position. You are all working on one side. Up, up, up. Okay. It all has to be one harmonious sequence of events. Then Rick 
who couldn't get the uh, lug nuts on the big wheel was saying, push it on. I says, no, you don't push it on. You got to lower the jack so it slips on the lug. I just want to get a bite. You know what I'm saying? OK, move it to the left, move it to the right. And I said, OK, pushing a little bit on the top, pushing a little bit on the top. Push real hard up top. One, two, three. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? He said, no, push, push, push. All of a sudden, they tipped over the truck. What the hell was that? That's not cool. Then down. Well, we just wanted to get it in. All right, look. What happened over Is here? Everybody all right? Yeah. Yeah, we're clear. So what'd you do? We need another jack. Well, well, who the hell was pushing on the tire and cramming it over there? Who was doing that? We were all, we were all trying to position it together. I can't really point a finger on anybody to blame on the truck incident with the jack. I mean, it was just bad, piss poor teamwork. Rick screwed up. It's his decision. Push real hard up top. One, two, three. Whoa, 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 whoa. We freaking ruined a jack. We had the potential of ruining the grave digger. You make a mistake in your real day-to-day -day job, you can't just go and keep going and never say you're sorry. You actually have to. Apologize to the boss. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's already done. No, because you know what? It is your thing. And that's your career and that's your life. It's not kissing ass. It's me trying to keep my job. Yeah, I know, I know but honestly, I cannot, I, can't, I cannot believe that somebody wasn't watching that because when I was stressing about knocking it off the freaking job, I was, I was honestly bull. I didn't think nobody would do it. Hey, it, it, may, it makes no difference. I'm going to tell you right now, if you drive that truck like y'all worked on it today, you guys are going to suck. And I hope like hell you're not in a grave digger truck when you do it. Thank you. Thank you, boss. As the rookies go to change into their driving suits, the fallout continues. I've worked with every single person here except for you and Romel and Sandy so far. And from a teamwork perspective, it sucks. It's off. Overexcited and everything goes out. Your adrenaline's pumping. When you were trying to apologize to the boss, I would never do that. I would say, hey, look, you know, that sucks that that happened. Here's what I'm going to do to fix it. But so you, you look at the boss's ass. You were, no, you were I was not kissing. Ass. I was listening to what the boss had to say. The big difference between you and I is that when I work, I work strictly with my head and my logic, and when you work, your heart is in it. You work so I'll hard. I'll explain why, and I know exactly why my heart is in it, because I didn't have a father growing up. So, you did. And not having that father approval or not having that, I look for that in my bosses. And so when I go back up to apologize to a boss, it's because somewhere deep rooted inside of yeah. me, I still need that approval. So it's like when you're talking to me, it feels like you're a father figure. You have children, you know? So when you're doing that to me, that's what's happening. I hear so I, I, I do take it to her. And I feel like I'm we such a baby when that stuff happens. I, but I, don't, I would why see it up as a kid. Like I've heard a lot of people's stories that have happened. A lot of people have been abused when they were younger. I was one of them. I was thrown in a dryer when I was younger. I was beat with welt marks up and down my legs, you know? I had to stand in the corner with my nose plastered in the, in the corner because I didn't have my freaking room clean, you know? And I wasn't allowed to sleep. I would have to go to work after school. So I look for my boss's approval. And so when I'm going up, I understand what those bosses are thinking. That's why I'm apologizing because it's their livelihood. And my dad would drill that into me. And it's not your dad. Nobody's out against you and nobody's going to put your face in the corner anymore. Yes, it's not about know. that. I'm not going to get a beer ball upside my head every night when I come home for my mother. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you're not going to hit me with some boo-hoo story to expect me to feel bad for you. You know, I've been through way worse than that. So anybody wants to play the victim with me, you're not going to get too far because I don't play that game. For their principal challenge, the rookies take to the course to perform a mainstay of Monster Jam. The ramp jump. And a ten, he don't They'll be judged on throttle control, the height and length of their jumps, and compliance to Monster Jam safety rules. If they get it wrong, the results could be disastrous. The first to go is Ben. He's given the all-clear sign. Ben moves up to the line. It's an automatic disqualification if a driver goes on the red light. You got good throttle control. You see how you let off of it?
You got it, man. You got it. Gas it. Oh. Oh. Ben's second jump is like a professional. That's a great digger driver. And with a good third jump, Ben sets a high standard. <laughs> Man, that was right there, buddy. Next, it's the women. Lie, Michaela, and Sandy. Lie clears her first jump. Yeah, she's home. And she gets some real height on the second try. <laughs> yeah. Come on. You're flying, dude. You're literally like you're in the air. You see straight up in the sky before you're coming down, and oh, it's gorgeous. That's Michaela right there. I tell you, man, she has got confidence. When I was sitting in the truck, I was petrified. You're sitting on top of 1,500 horsepower. But it turned from nervous excitement into, like, adrenaline. Michaela gets good height. Bring it on, girl. Gas it. Gas it. Sandy goes in fearlessly. That was nice. Bring it home, girl. Bring it home. I'm glad that me, Michaela, and Lie can show America that any woman can do any of America's toughest jobs. You just got to set your mind to it and rock it like us. <laughs> Stephen, Ramel, Bryce, and Chris have yet to impress the boss. Stephen puts on a respectable show. Oh, yeah. Bring it home, boy. I like that. Ramel is next. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Woo! You're not predicting much here. No. You're wasting fuel. <laughs> See? Uh, See? He's a nice guy, but he sucks as a monster truck driver. <laughs> he really does. He's got some making up to do, I can tell you that. He may surprise us. He sucks at everything else he's done. I did great. Some people are choking here. I didn't choke at all. I did exactly what they said. Next is Rick. And with a broken jack to his name, he can't afford to let Dennis down. Now that it's showtime, I'm ready to put it to it, man. I'm ready to put the pedal to the metal and put on a fantastic show. Ah! <laughs> he just threw it in neutral and crammed it to the floor. That's not good. Don? You throw that sucker into neutral, and that's twice Rick fouled up and actually hurt that guy's baby. <sighs> Dude, what, are you, what were you doing? I went off first and then the second, I thought. No, nah, you went the first to freaking neutral. Honestly, guys, I need to get with the officials and see what, you know, see what we're going to do, because, you know, it's, it is a competition. This is killing It's got to be killing us. The officials decide to give Rick a second chance. All right. OK, the, the officials called it. If it was up to me, you're, you'd be done. Get your together, dude. You're better than that. I will. Come on, Rick. You got this thing. Yeah, baby. Keep her going. Keep her going. Don't be scared. Keep her rolling. Keep her rolling. Come on. Step it up. Come on. Step it up. Step it up. Ah. He was in the throttle a little long that time. You hear it flutter when he went through the air? Yeah. Woo! Yeah! And it was awesome. Unbelievable. That's what's up. That's what's up right there. Finally, it's Eric. 
In his last run, Eric almost ran into a wall. Now's his chance to redeem himself. He waits for the green light. Wait, why did he go? There's no green light. 